So now that I've had an opportunity to uh, you know, wash my hands off, finish my food, uh, finish talking to my friend a second ago, I'll take the time. It is, well, you can see it right there. So it's just about 4 o'clock, 10 to 4. I just wanted to document the harassment and attempt. The, the th I don't think he made a direct threat today, but he definitely was uh, threatening in nature with his very confrontational and profane approach of me. Um, Warren Wilbur. Hey, Pelican just went by. If I see Pelican walking around, I'm definitely going to go have a chat with him about it on camera. Um, so anyway, I was at Cumberland Farms. I tend to film this person since they've attacked me and my girlfriend. I have documented their behavior, their activity, and they've, he, Warren Wilbur, has kept a distance since then, since uh, the, well, it was the day he attacked Mariah, and then two or three days later, he made several threats against me, charged at me several times, uh, made direct death threats, or saying that he was going to bash my effing skull in multiple times. Um, so, I've been documenting this person every time that that, that interaction ended with police and, uh, police interjection over by the mail, uh, the post office. So today I did not, I was coming out of Cumbies eating some food. I saw this person, but I did not uh, begin filming. I just noticed that he was down the street. So I was walking up the street. I purposely crossed because I don't want to be near this motherfucker. And I crossed to this side of the street, which is the uh, west side. And I noticed that after that, he crossed behind me, same crosswalk, was following me up the street. This is someone who you will see just moping around Keene all day doing nothing, sitting in a bench, looking at his feet as he walks around. Um, so I knew that he didn't really have anywhere to go. I mean, who knows? I guess I shouldn't say that. Maybe, like, the person is in the process of changing up their life, but I seriously doubt it. They seem to be getting deeper into their depression and their anger and whatever it is that drives them that's negative energy. Uh, so, I, as I was, as I crossed the street, I noticed he crossed too, so then I began, I very briefly filmed, I just pointed the camera behind me and got his face, and was like, he just crossed, he's following me. And, after doing so, um, walked up, as I was walking up the street, I had stopped filming. I should have kept filming, that was stupid of me, but really I didn't, I was starting to interact with people I'm friendly with, and I didn't want to have to cause a scene and be like, I have to film right now because there's a crazy guy following me. Um, I didn't want to have to do that. I just wanted to have a normal interaction with my friends, like a happy holiday, today's May Day, that sort of thing. Um, so I chilled and sat down right by the subway um, and was talking with someone. And that's when dude walks up and he he stops in front of me and he was like, do you want to... Uh, I, I don't even remember what he says. It was something like, do you think he's going to help you little bitch or something like that? And, like pointing to the other person that was there and we both uh, he looked at me I looked at him I was like yo don't be talking to me motherfucker and I picked up my camera and I started taking it out and recording him I said something like leave me I'm, I'm no interest in dealing with you leave me the fuck alone stay away from me um, you may have heard some of that you may hear is like the cameras coming on and then I start walking south my friend starts walking south and I'm keeping the videotape pointed back at him moving away um, I had physically turned around so I was like walking backwards away from him saying go away um, he starts like coming my direction and then he's he kind of shied off and moved away um, So yeah, fortunately there was no physical confrontation today um, Let's hope there's not one in the future at some point the police are going to have to cage this person because they seem intent on Continuing to be threatening in nature and there's only so much that one can tolerate that sort of thing um, So yeah, I'm hoping oh excuse me um, I'm hoping that there's nobody else that's having to deal with this person and their negative behaviors. Because um, that's the thing that I'm concerned about. Like, I feel like I can deal with him. I'm physically strong enough if this person were to try and hurt me that I may be able to restrain them without physically debilitating them. But my concern is that, uh, that this is a continued behavior and if I'm only seeing it, I'm just seeing the tip of an iceberg, that there's probably more going on. So I think it's time to go to Central Square and smoke some green.